Hey guys, it is the IT Collector and today I'm going to be talking about um, Marvel Select made by Diamond Select Magneto figure. That's this one right here in front of us. Um, this is just an iconic character in X-Men, nice villain who also, you know, helps out uh, sometimes. I guess he has a good heart. Um, I grew up watching the cartoons, so I, I really like this uh, action figure. And one of the main reasons why I got it, I want to do a little review on it, is because of the accessory of uh, the, the display stand they have here, which is pretty cool. Um, I like the diorama type stuff, so when they include something like that, that's pretty cool. Um, it's a really neat base, um, but uh, make sure you realize this is Diamond Select and not um, Hasbro uh, Marvel Legends. Um, so these are all 7 inch figures and um, they can compare pretty well some of them uh, which I'll show you um, how they compare with other either legends or other um, uh, like uh, diamond select uh, figures um, so without further ado let's take a look so here we are with a closer look of Magneto the Marvel select figure um, this was just awesome uh, because of the base I think that's pretty darn cool that they included that um, but let's take a closer look at the details of this figure look at his face there pretty good uh, sculpt and then uh, the body of him and uh, this one doesn't have as much uh, articulation as for example um, the other Marvel Select figures and especially not as much as the Marvel Legends um, I don't have another Magneto to compare it to um, I do have one on pre-order that's coming, but uh, probably compare those later. Um, so about the base, which is what I liked, uh, one of the selling points for me was uh, the Xavier school sign all crumbled. And of course, um, Colossus's arm there, which obviously uh, implies a lot that uh, a lot went down here when Magneto... Uh, don't mess with Magneto basically that's what that's telling us um, very awesome display figure I love to display things so that's why I'm, uh, I had to get this guy um, I, you don't have to do much for like diorama purposes he's already uh, has that nice base that you can do um, let me just show you a little bit of a size comparison and I'm going to take him off this uh, stand and uh, show you he's uh, 7 inches um, let me just make sure real quick. It's been a while. Yeah, so a little bit, uh, about seven and a quarter. So a little bit over seven inches, but he's pretty much the standard uh, seven inch figure for Diamond Select. Um, as I mentioned, he has that base. And let me uh, compare him to uh, Thanos from uh, Diamond Select as well. So there you can see they're almost the same size. Thanos is a little bit bigger. Um, just by a, by a, I don't know, a very little bit, a quarter of an inch or less. Um, so that's that size difference. And then here's one with the Hulkbuster. I'm comparing them to bigger figures just so you can get a feel for it. Um, so that's, that's, uh, the comparison there. And then let me show you, um, if you're going to mix and match with Marvel Select and... Um, for example, the six inch line of Marvel Legends, which I do plan to do. All of my other uh, X-Men characters are all uh, Marvel Legends. So here I have Rogue, and you can see how uh, Magneto compares to her. Um, of course, depending on the stance, you can uh, make Magneto a little shorter. Of course, you don't want him to look too weird, but you get the point. Or him on the base, which you're probably going to do anyway. It's hard to tell the if it's at a scale or not because he'll be higher up. So that's that six inch comparison. And then um, let me show you one more comparison I have is with the, the Hulk figure. So this is a Marvel Legends Hulk figure, and you can see that he's about uh, eight inches high. So, pretty good comparison if you're ever going to display a mix and match here. But like I mentioned, this is a, a bigger figure anyway. So, that's how, that, uh, how he compares with them. But overall, very cool figure. 
um, instead of like the rotating hips, um, it's it's this type of uh, joints, uh, up and down, and they twist here. Um, it, it has articulation, but just not as much as uh, other figures. I, I feel I I, I, need, I don't have too many normal sized uh, Marvel Select. Um, all of them are big, as you can see the Hulk and uh, Hulkbuster and Thanos. But uh, that's how it compares. Very cool figure. I really uh, can't wait to display him in the display case, which will be very soon. So there you go. Pretty awesome figure. I really enjoyed it um, because I found it uh, loose. Uh, I had to get it. I was a l I'm a little late to collecting uh, Marvel stuff, so that's why I, I have a collection of some loose and some brand new in the package. Um, but it, it's uh, my collection is definitely growing. Um, and uh, I'm going to be uh, transferring out the Simpsons display here with a lot of uh, Marvel stuff and DC. So I hope you enjoyed this review and I hope this helped you uh, see if you want this figure or not. Um, make sure you subscribe if you want to uh, see more videos on Marvel stuff, um, DC, and not only that, tons of Star Wars, Ninja Turtles, a lot of stuff from the 80s, 90s, early 2000s like uh, let's say Terminator, Predator. Um, all, all types of things, Ghostbusters. Um, so check out uh, my channel, make sure you subscribe, and don't forget, as always, stay collecting, my friends.